My name is Matt St. John and appreciate everyone taking time to join today's webinar. Um, all right, so really to get started off, we're just going to talk a little bit about the technologies. We're going to talk about a couple of bullet points, um, you know, go through this PowerPoint slide deck, and then we're going to jump into the live demo, and I'll quickly show you uh, how Starship processes, how, how we use it to process different type of shipments, and uh, we'll show you some other features that how Starship can also help the front office with things like rate shopping right from sales order entry. Uh, but with that being said, let me just uh, advance my slide here. And again, we'll talk a little about V technology. So V technologies, we've been developing integrated shipping solutions since 1987. So 35 years now at V technologies, all we do is integrated shipping software. Right? Uh, we are located in Connecticut and everything we do Things from development, support, QA are all done in-house, so we're not outsourcing anything. Again, everything's just done right in the office in Connecticut. Uh, we are a strategic UPS-ready provider, so basically what that means is we are a certified solution for UPS. Uh, so, for example, things like our shipping labels are delivered to you um, already certified. It's not like you have to go through and get those uh, labels certified. Also, with UPS, they do have a subsidy program, the CTP, or Customer Technology Program. Uh, through that program, if no one's taking advantage of that, it, not sure, but uh, just know that you can actually qualify for free funding and, of course, use that money to purchase Starship. Now, we do integrate with a dozen other ERP systems, but, of course, today we're going to be talking about uh, the integration with Acumatica. And, of course, uh, we have been integrated with Acumatica for seven years now. Now, over the 35 business uh, years that we have been in business, we've actually had over 10,000 companies that have used Starship to help streamline their day-to-day -day shipping activity. Okay. All right. So again, just some bullet points here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to review all these on the demo because so you can kind of see uh, Starship in live action. But with our integration to Acumatica, I mean, literally plug and play. Um, you know, it's not like we have to get in there and do coding. Uh, with Starship and the integration, it's simply data mapping fields. So we can really take any of those Starship fields and point them to either standard Acumatica fields, maybe you want to use those custom or reference fields, or if you need to set up attribute fields um, to help streamline the shipping activity. Uh, so things, you know, for example, like uh, if inside of Acumatica I have the insurance checkbox flag, that's going to come into Starship already flagged. All right, so things like that. But some, some of our clients, hey, you know what, we, we want to add additional fields inside Acumatica to help streamline the shipping activity. Um, so again, it's not like if you want to use an attribute field or a different Acumatica field, we have to reprogram everything. It's simple data mapping where we can point all the Starship fields to Acumatica fields. Really, you're going to see uh, with Starship, we, we want to set this up so the less things a shipper has to click, type, touch, of course, the better. You know, we want to automate as much as possible. Now, with the integration with Ac that Acumatica and Starship have, uh, when Starship, uh, we want to do things like rate shopping. Uh, we do integrate with small parcel, LTL, even some 3PL companies. Uh, really, with that, the nice thing, especially nowadays with the pandemic, you know, the, the supply chain, you know, some LTL type companies, you know, they might not be able to pick up your shipment for two weeks. Uh, so the more carriers you kind of have, uh, the better option. So that old scenario where, hey, more, more tools in the shed, better off we are. Um, so with Starship, we're going to be able to electronically communicate with your different carriers. Again, any of those integrations we have. Um, so things like with UPS, FedEx, of course, we're going to ping the carrier, return things uh, like your live negotiated contract rate. So there's no staging tables. You know, once uh, we, we bring back a rate, that's a live rate. That way, if a carrier ups, say, a fuel surcharge tomorrow, when you rate shop tomorrow, you gain access to those new rates. Now, same thing with LTL carriers. We're going to turn, return your live contract rates that you have with the LTL carriers. Uh, Starship also with some of those LTL carriers will do things like returning pro numbers, electronic pickup. So we ping the carrier so you don't have to to let them know that there is, you know, something ready to be picked up. Right. 
So deep integration with the carriers. We do fully support any contract options that you might have with the carrier or any of those additional service options like with FedEx, uh, the one rate uh, service option. Or if we're doing international type shipments, Starship can even, uh, for example, with UPS, hey, have UPS electronically deliver all the required international documents. Right? Now, also with Starship, and again, I'm going to show you this, uh, you know, we have integrations with USPS. And with Starship, once we're rate shopping, and that can be from uh, at time of shipment or even as a front office sales rep, customer service rep, I can do live rate shopping right from the sales order module in Acumatica. But with Starship, we can even set it up to, hey, you know what, Starship, you automatically select the least expensive carrier. Um, so it's a nice, nice thing, you know, if we have UPS, FedEx, and then USPS, we can actually see who's going to be the least expensive or maybe the fastest. and then. Starship can even be set up to automatically select that carrier service based on your rules. Now, with Starship, uh, if we need to do hazmat shipping, uh, as I can even show you, we have a whole database where we can set up and store um, hazmat items in the, the hazmat requirements. So Starship does fully support the ability to ship hazmat type um, items. Uh, if we're using uh, trading partners that require GS-128 or UCC-128 labels, Starship can actually generate those. Um, as you see on, on the, the bullet point below this, we also do integrate with EDI solutions. Um, so with that integration, what Starship can do is, of course, once we process a shipment through Starship, it's going to be able to send the shipping information back into Acumatica, but we can then also update the EDI solution. So no one has to manually type in that required EDI shipping information. Um, but the nice thing is that information is automatically going to go to the EDI provider. Of course, they'll take it, upload it to your trading partners so they can generate those ASNs. But at time of shipment, I can actually have Starship generate my shipping labels, you know, pallet labels, bill lading forms, including those 128 labels. So everything's right there as I'm processing the different shipments. Um, we do shipments. I'll, I'll even show you an international shipment today. Um, but as I mentioned, with international, we can have the carrier deliver the, the uh, required international documents. Or maybe we just want Starship to do it. And Starship can generate things like commercial invoices, shipper's letter of instruction, um, you know, certificate of origins. Nice thing, when Starship generates those, they can, all the information is automatically going to be filled out. I can even show you that that we can even customize the document. So, hey, maybe we want them to print out already signed and dated. So now as a shipper, I'm not gonna have to stop and fill out any of those documents. It, it's all gonna be populated for me. Um, and then with Starship, we also uh, include our, what we call our e-notify program. And that a program actually allows you to create your own custom email templates that you can send out to your customers. Uh, I know Acumatic has a program, but if you wanted to, you could, again, use Starships. Nice thing with that, you can have unlimited templates. On those templates include things like your company information, your logo, so it's branded with your company, not the carriers. We can even show customers, hey, package one, these are the items we're shipping you in package one, package two, hyperlink tracking information. Uh, you'll see on my example uh, that you could even get into doing different templates with emailing rules. So maybe we want a template that offers our customer a 25% discount with a discount code that if you wanted to, you can even hyperlink that discount code. So it kicks the customer right back to your, your website. Uh, so again, I'll show you an example of one of those. And then as I mentioned, we do integrate with EDI solutions, Acumatica WMS, inventory and management apps. Um, you know, with things like WMS, it's literally plug and play. Uh, it's not like we really have to set up anything. A uh, nice thing if we're going to use a WMS system, just know however you define the item box detail through that WMS scanning uh, machine or, you know, iPhone, whatever you're using, that's how it's going to flow into Starship. So you can assign, hey, you know, this is going, these, this one item's in a, a, a box maybe that you call small, and then these two items are going to go into a box that you, you label as medium. Um, or maybe we just want to scan dimensions in separately. Maybe we want to scan in weights. Uh, but again, just know that as a picker packer with that handheld device, I am going to be able to build all my item box, item box palette detail, and it's just going to flow into Starship the way I de um, de define it on the handheld device. All right, so again, these are just some of the carriers that Starship integrates with. And as I mentioned, it is a live call to the carriers. 
Uh, really all we do is we enter your account information with the carrier and then that way Starship uses that information to communicate with the carrier again to return things like your live contract rate a small parcel we can even show publish list rates um, and you know like I said we support the contract options with LTL uh, a lot of the carriers support things like electronic pickup or um, returning that pro number automatically so you'll see how that works. But, you know, with Starship, we are multi-carrier, multi-mode. So from the one user interface, I'm going to be able to ship my small parcel, my international, my LTL type shipments. Um, you'll even see if we need to, we could do one-offs where maybe we're not sending a shipment through uh, Acumatic or maybe we're doing a sample and we don't create a sales order or an employee wants to send something out. So with Starship, we're not tied to having it half, all that shipping information have to come from Acumatica. Now, another thing Starship does integrate is, with is e-commerce sites. So I know, you know those could be integrated through Acumatica, and if you're doing that, then our integrations are not required. But just know with Starship's integrations, what we can do is actually when we process the shipment through Starship, as I mentioned, it's gonna send the shipping information back into Acumatica, but we can also update that shipping information Say on your website, if we're using Shopify, you know, we can mark that order complete. And if we're using a uh, integration through um, Acumatica, our, our integrations aren't required. But just know that option is there where Starship can also update the shipping information on the e-commerce websites. Okay. All right. So let me just advance this slide and we'll X out of here. We'll jump right into my uh, demo machine. All right, so I, my machine right now is the Starship program. So with this program, really as a shipper, I can just live and breathe inside of Starship. You know, technically I don't need to be inside of Acumatica. I, I don't, you know, have to have it open if I don't want to. Um, but up top here is our source field. So this is where I can pull by sales order number, shipment number, or if I need to, I can pull by a customer number. Now, if we want to pull by a sales order number, just know on the right back, uh, Starship will automatically create the shipment record inside of Acumatica. So if we wanted to, we can kind of save a step. But most clients, we do pull by the shipment record. And especially if you're using like a WMS, where we are going to have to pull by that shipment record. Okay. Now, over here is the source field. So this is where I can type in uh, the, you know, again, sales order, shipment, or customer. Also, if that information is barcoded, say on our pick sheet, we can also just use a regular wedge type barcode scanner and scan in that info, and then Starship would automatically load it. Other options, of course, I can manually look up. Uh, in this case, we'll just pull by shipment. We can manually look up our shipment. So with Starship, even though I'm not inside of Acumatica, this is still a live connection. So I'm going to be displaying all my live shipments. Uh, if someone, you know, adding them, Starship's automatically going to be picking those up. Maybe someone's going in and making a change to those. Uh, so Starship would also pick up any changes being made to that shipment record. Now, also, because I'm just delaying, uh, displaying them here, it doesn't mean that these shipments are locked inside of Acumatica. Right? So there are some systems that, hey, just because it's sitting in the shipping software, you can't modify or touch, in this case, uh, shipment record 3575. With Starship, again, it's just a live call, so these shipments are currently available. If I needed to make a change, I could go in and make that change. Now, other options is, I, if I'm manually looking up shipments, I can sort by any of these columns, drag, drop. Uh, shipper could even kind of customize this lookup and add, remove columns. They can even apply filters if we are manually looking up shipments and want to narrow that uh, the search result. But in this case, I will just manually grab one shipment. Like I said, what we can. So with Starship, as you're going to see here, it's going to bring in all the information from the Acumatica shipment record. So here's the company, here's my sales or shipment number, here's my sales order number. Out of the box, Starship does fully support multiple companies, branches, warehouses, locations. So again, just data mapping all the data, having it flow in, my sender information, you know, that could display your company information. Also know we do fully support blind drop shipments. So maybe we need to show a shipment is coming for example, like Home Depot. Uh, and in this case, I manually selected the address ID drop down, but that is something we can also automate by just looking at an Acumatica field. 
sender information is just going to go automatically go into the recipient. Starship does address validation. We can even have that automatically set up. So it just automatically validates the address and makes any changes. And then transportation, just looking at your ship via codes, automatically selecting carrier service account. If anyone's doing third party bill recipient collect type shipments, that's something we can also automate. So I can have this set up where all this comes in. And now as a shipper, I don't have to touch any of it. And I do have to change this back to recipient because we do also validate that billing account number. So Starship is not going to allow someone to send out a shipment with an invalid third party account number. Uh, shipment details, of course, just all our shipment options. Again, we can trigger these from Acumatica fields. We can default them. So for example, here, I'm telling Starship, always use the uh, carrier email. We can bring in email addresses and then even set when we want the carrier to use their email. Now, packaging, this is usually in a live environment, the first spot a shipper goes to, because this is where I can actually get into that item box detail. Or like I mentioned, if I'm using a WMS, all that information can automatically flow in how I defined it uh, through the WMS system, all right? Now, we can have everything come in. Uh, here, if I need an additional box, I can add single boxes. We have repeat box functions where we can tell Starship, you know, maybe I need three additional packages. And if I'm manually building, building shipments inside Starship, it is simple drag and drop. So here I could just move this one item up into that Acer box. Um, this laptop here, I did have a packaging scenario, so Starship knows to automatically package that laptop for me. But it is simple drag and drop. And then these drop downs are just Starship's database where you can set up and store your own boxes, bags, bales, cartons. We can even bring in the carrier type boxes, like for example, with USPS, the, the different type of um, one rate boxes, those could be brought in here. Our quantities, that's what we're shipping. The actual weight in my system, I am pulling from inside of Acumatica. Of course, we integrate with scale, so we could have Starship automatically return the, way, the, the weight from the scale. Or even here, if I needed to, I could manually type in the weight. I mean, this is just eight pounds. But next door, then we also get into dimensional weight. So we will run the carrier's dimensional calculation, automatically populate that here. And in this case now, uh, Starship is rate shopping at the correct dimensional weight. And then when we ship and process, it's going to go to the carrier um, at that correct dimensional weight. So later on, you're not going to get that bill. It says, hey, you sent that one box out at eight pounds. Dimensionally, it's 13. Here's the difference. So again, all that is where we can get into that item box. And then down here is our live rate shopping, where at time of shipment, I can see my different carriers, business days, total days, ETA, published list charges, contract, applied. That's simply plus or minus any freight rules, where if I want Starship to maybe add a flat rate or give a certain customer a discount, uh, we have many different scenarios where we can add or subtract um, percentages, min maxes, flat rates, even calculations. Uh, but this is basically what we're going to want to charge the customer if we're having Starship write that back into Acumatica. And then, as I mentioned, we can automate this whole process. You know, I have some scenarios here where I'm just showing small parcel carriers, but we can do maybe least expensive between UPS and USPS, or as you see, cheapest in four days, cheapest ground option. So, different ways we can set this up where Starship would automatically populate that information and select the correct carrier. Okay. Now in this scenario here, I'm just gonna do ship and process. And at that time, Starship is just going to process the shipment. Uh, we can also do return labels if we need to create a return label with the outbound shipment. We, we do have uh, ship process and create a return label. Now in a live environment, once you click ship and process, what Starship would normally do is just automatically populate your, your shipping documents and, and generate them to thermal printers and laser printers. But here I just PDF everything. So in this case, I'm just having Starship display my shipping label and packing list on one form. So this would just go to a laser printer. But as I mentioned, thermal printers or the shipping labels can go to a thermal printer or printers. With Starship, we can tell it where each of the documents go. Uh, the packing list, that's up to you. That could also go to a thermal printer, of course, a laser printer, or maybe we want to save it as a PDF to a network share. Um, and then also, for example, here, is my commercial invoice. And as I mentioned, everything's populated. I even customize this one so it's signed and dated. But really, we click ship and process. Starship's gonna just generate our shipping documents, print them right out, and take the shipper right back to the main screen where they can just kind of rinse, repeat, go through that whole cycle again. And then back inside of Acumatica, let me just refresh this. As soon as they, oops, 
as soon as they um, click ship and process, what Starship is going to do is automatically update the shipment. Okay, so we're going to mark it confirmed, and I'll drill down into this. So here it's confirmed. Now in the shipping, we can reverse translate any address changes or change the ship via if we change the carrier service. We're going to write back freight cost, so that's your live negotiated rate. And then freight price is, again, plus or minus anything we want to charge the customer. Um, we can also do write back rules where, hey, you know, if you already charge the customer, do not overwrite that price. And then in my system, I built the shipment details inside of Starship, but we still reverse translate our box IDs. Here's what we put in each of the packages, including the quantity. There's my tracking numbers. Uh, customer reference one and two, it's up to you. You know, you could do, like I'm doing ETAs from the carrier. And then we can also update a note, same thing, up to you what you want to send back to that note. So that's really the, the shipping process. Uh, real quick, I'll just show you a Starship dashboard program, which is also included. And in here, as you see, we have a heat map. Uh, this can be accessed by any users. You know, it does not require any additional user seats. But we have this heat map, history status. Maybe you want to see you know, what's been shipped, processed, voided, uh, can bunch of canned crystal reports. And then here is that e-notify program where you can create your own custom email templates. And oops, being slow here, uh, I'll just show you all my pending. But for example, this is a quick you know, template I designed. There's our company information. Let them know PO number, sales order number, maybe how it's being shipped, where it's going to, number of packages, ETA. So that was kind of a quick overview. Uh, let me put up my contact information. So uh, if anyone wants to reach out, they most certainly can.